Welcome to Fedora. So, quick tour. We have the forward berth. Underneath here, starboard side, we have the fresh water I have bag. It's a, it's a flexible bag. I don't know the liter. I think it's 120 liters. Uh, maybe it's less. I don't know. The gas tank is 70 liters. I don't know how much water, fresh water I have. I think it might be the same 70 liters. Anyways, bow thruster, electric bow thruster is underneath the here. Easily accessible, but uh, no maintenance required. Very powerful, apparently, for this boat. Oversized, which is good news. Chain locker, anchor chain locker is up front there, under the behind that circle. I'm not happy with that. There is nothing up front, no access at all, except for a small opening where the chain goes into that. Shelving up here. I'll clean all this up. Both sides, probably, probably underwear, socks. I don't know yet. Coming forward, I have a glory, uh, sorry, clothing closet. It's not really a closet because it's open. There's no door, but um, I will be storing t-shirts, etc., cetera, uh, flannels, whatever, you know, clothing. So I got four hooks back here. Those will be for fleeces, whatever. Okay, nice door latches. So this, this boat, if you notice, a lot of these latches, etc., are well-made and um, being 50 years old, things are, you know, they don't build things like they used to basically. So anyways, this is a, another a secondary, this is an actual closet. It does have a, a latch and a door. So I'm gonna replace these with obviously very nice wood ones, um, vintage wood hangers, get rid of these plastic blue ugly things. Okay, moving to the head, to the head. I'm quite happy with the head, and this is one of the reasons why I'm buying this boat, because it's in, it's clean, not extremely clean. I have some work to do. I'm, I'm gonna be anal retentive and get this fucking spick and span, but it is clean enough um, and, and um, something I can use without feeling grossed out or disgusted or, you know, not uh, something I don't even wanna enter into. By the way, the, uh, the previous owner has installed LED lighting in all the lights, so everything is LED in here and also up on the mast. Uh, shower, I don't know if this gets hot water or not. I don't think it does. So anyways, head, clean, functional, ready to go. I'll do some minor cleaning when I move in, but I'm not, I'm not stressed about the head, which is one of my prerequisites. Okay, moving forward, we have, sorry, moving aft. <laughs> we are forward. Moving aft, we have the salon, saloon. I keep saying salon, saloon. Saloon here is consisting of a circular seating area with a table and the mass support obviously here. And then we have a side berth uh, on the starboard side, if you want to use this as a berth, sleeping place. Um, we also have storage compartments on starboard and port both sides. As you can see, maybe, maybe not, but if you can notice the top compartments, if you look at the bottom line, it's a straight line, level. If you look at the top line, it, it goes down. It's actually, if you look and you think about it, this is, these are vanishing lines. And I'm pretty happy about that because as you may know, I'm a big fan of vanishing lines. So that's kind of a cool feature. I didn't notice in the pictures. I just noticed yesterday when I arrived uh, some, at some point yesterday. So uh, fresh walls, when I say fresh walls, what I mean is he didn't drill in any of these. There are no holes. Nothing's been damaged. Fresh wall there, fresh wall here. Pretty happy. Doors, everything looks really nice moving forward there is this boat has been has in the past had a diesel heater and so there is there are ducks there are there is duct work pre plumbed i guess pre set up 
I'm pretty excited about that because I'm gonna install a diesel heater and the plumbing was actually keeping me away from doing that. I didn't want to do it because plumbing, routing all the ducts would have been a pain in the ass. But apparently it's been done already. Apparently the diesel line is set up so there's additional diesel line going to the back. Galley. Let's start with the galley and sorry, let's start with the main area in the galley. Really, really love this. Uh, this was done within a few years, I think 2019 or 2020, somewhere in that, somewhere during COVID, I believe, in that range. This was redone. So this countertop, this fresh white countertop is new and that's a requirement for me to have a clean kitchen, stainless steel sink, like I said, hot water. Hot water supplied by a heater here. And we have storage here. Here we have more storage, vinegar, oil, etc. Okay, gas. Gas stove. Shut off valve there. Okay, easily accessible. You got two burners. Yeah, it's on a pivot, you unscrew this and then it pivots it um, fridge it's on right now it's cold it's working pretty happy about that that's brand new within a few years i think it's a two-year-old fridge the engine is actually under here really neat i'll show you that later um, the engine really has a, a a ton of access this whole semi-hexagonal semi whatever it is five whatever that shape is this whole thing and the this panel this whole thing is actually a very heavy piece of furniture I guess that slides out and it literally just exposes the engine like from all four sides let me show you the engine so this this piece of furniture comes out there are two latches okay so once those latches are undone you can slide this out and then here I'll show you now I'll do it just for you guys give me a moment oh that was undone okay so as you can see it slides out and if you come around here oil filter, water pump, etc., engine mounts, everything is easily accessible. It's fantastic. It's really, really cool. You get almost 360 degrees of access. Hopefully I'll never need that access, but if it's there, and if I do need it, and it's available to me, I will utilize that, obviously. So, pretty excited about that. The only access you don't get is from back here and right under the sink towards the back three, third, back third maybe of the sink. But everything else is accessible once you remove this piece. Okay, moving on from that. Could be breads, canned goods, non-perishables, etc. So I will, I will definitely install some food hammocks. I have some work to do on these, on the woodwork up top. I'm going to add woodwork. So across this, I'm going to actually add a piece of wood going across, clean up this gap, make a nice looking um, archway there with wood. And then maybe I'll have some more, some mounting points. Maybe I can have a hammock from here to there. Nice fresh fruit fresh vegetable hammock. Uh, I covered this, I think, maybe not. So I covered the storage locker. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Could be food, could be sneakers, could be both. I don't really wanna mix my sneakers with food, but whatever I use that for. Also up here, this is just bullshit boating stuff that he, the owner has in, in these Tupperware containers. I could, I could repurpose this shelf and I probably will for food. Um, this could be all sorts of food on display. Microwave, I don't know if I went over that. I'm not thrilled about it because I don't use a microwave. I don't really believe in them. Um, 
Maybe it's good for tea. Okay, so moving on to the freezer fridge. Secondary, I can use this space for who knows what. I mean, I'm probably gonna be coming down to the companionway, taking off like jackets, etc. I might just use this as like a throwing my shit here point. Um, I don't know, I'll figure that out, obviously. And now moving towards the nav station. I'm gonna rework this, this mess. I don't like the color. I'm gonna rework that. I'll probably get rid of the books, honestly. I might add a panel so that I can mount and hide all the wiring, etc. and just have the exposed spaces. That's to be done later. I'm not gonna worry about that now. The moment this Raymarine Axiom 7 actually has enough wire, he set it up so that you can take it off that mounting point and move it up to that mounting point. See it from the helmet. So that's pretty cool. And these are bead beetle, and they're they're old, but they're they're okay actually. So we have wind direction, we have speed, we have depth. He has a speaker that you can rig up if you're if you're out, outside here sailing, and the VHF. So this is the VHF. Okay, so that can be rigged up plugged in with that cord so that you have a speaker outside okay we have instrument um, panel for the engine so that's where you start the engine and monitor the rpms i gotta dismantle that and dry out the inside there's moisture in there that's not cool i gotta do that throttle really cool feature here as i said before up front bow thruster Stoked. We got a cool ancestral um, compass, steering, runner, and the truck. Back to the boom. And spare radio antenna for the VHF. There is one up on top, on the top of the mast. And of course, Garmin GPS. So, two inches here and here. That's a disappointment that only I only have two, but I can add in the, in the future maybe a winch. There are two winch bases here and here. And I can add two winches up here. Okay, so we have here fuel, storage, probably extra sails. Most definitely gonna throw all the extra sails. I don't want the extra sails up front. I don't have any room. Here, gas, propane, and cleaning shit. Okay, nice lockers, nice latches. Teak, I'll be refinishing the teak in January or maybe next year. Summer, I don't know yet. More storage for uh, shit, <laughs> but probably sales, heavy big things. I'll probably distribute a couple sales over here, a couple sales over there, and distribute the weight a little bit even more evenly. We got gas tank there that was cleaned in just a couple years ago, I think. Uh, fuel, yeah. I don't know what this board is for. That's a good question. Okay, moving on. Going to the aft storage locker. Here we have more storage for shit. Exiting the cockpit. Runners, trucks for the Jib Genoa. And some wild plants. I gotta put a solar panel on top of that. Got to ensure the solar panel's there. Lifeboat, when I buy one, probably in this brand. But maybe when I get some to the minute, I'm gonna buy a lifeboat. Yeah, I'm not gonna need a lifeboat. I hope I put my foot on those. Passageways, etc. 
south to Med. Uh, we got the mast here, mounting point with electrical. We got two deck lights, one on each side under the spreaders. We got the, the mast, the steam light. Steam light on the mast. Deep direction, etc. All good. Whisker pole here on the front of the mast. Uh, we got the rigging. Three points to go to the mast at the point where the spreaders join, and one goes up around the spreader at the top of the mast. Okay, that's the rigging. Those are the shrouds. You notice the the railways are all mounted in beefy fucking bolts and six of them <laughs> not fucking around with the rails so that's pretty cool i got these teak i'm gonna obviously get these looking good i'll scrub them down get rid of the mold sand them varnish one two three four five six okay so getting to the anchor this is a manual not really thrilled about the fact that I don't have an electric winch, windless, but here it is. So that's, that's that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna need a bigger anchor, longer chain. Okay, so now moving on. Rolling, uh, furling, general obviously. Uh, that's about it, I think. The deck. I have five total winches, so there are two in the back, I showed you. There are two under here. Okay, there's two, sorry, two on each side of the one here, one here. And then there's another one, there's a third one here on the setup here, underneath here somewhere. There's a small one. Okay, so there's three, there are three winches on the boom mast. And brand new bimini well brand new within within a couple of years so this bimini is new okay that's fedora i'm gonna end here because i think i get about fucking 45 minutes of video <laughs> so i'm gonna go and it's cold so i'm gonna go back inside and i'm gonna say goodbye to you guys check out balta cool paint scheme i like it I really wish my fucking bimini, I'm already calling it mine, my bimini. I really wish the fabric, uh, the sail cover, the main sail cover, the bimini, the cushions. I wish everything that was fabric on that boat, the, the boat I'm buying. I wish everything was red, that color, more or less. Uh, then it would be perfect, but that's something I can do. Although new cushions and new sail cover and new bimini, not cheap. Anyways, not a major thing, just a cosmetic and um, vanity. It's just vanity. there that's where the boat is and apparently they have 3,000 births here five marinas and 3,000 births so it looks like I will be spending January in this area one month of my life will be here Is she on here? Yes, she is. 25.5 is what she was listed for at this point. If you go upstairs into their office, they have a sheet with a listing of 29.9. So 
30,000 started. <clears throat> Didn't sell. Went down to 25, 29.9 to 25, and then went to 22 didn't sell at that point so a year later I came along and I'm paying less than that even so this is a restaurant at the marina of course it's Italian <laughs> I'm not really psyched about that but it offers something for me if I want to have something besides cooking in the boat during January Pretty gorgeous. Even in late October, basically the winter, it's still beautiful to be on the sea. In my opinion, even nicer. I don't like the summer. It's too hot. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Anyways, back to Italy, back to Vicenza tonight and and it's all sell, sell, sell. Next episode is going to be a talking head episode. I'm going to explain where I was, where I am, and where I'm going. I'll be showing you everything that I've done on Milanote. I'll be sharing my screen and showing you everything about the boat I just bought. I'll be showing you everything about my destination plans. I'll be showing everything about the tech, the apps, the links, everything that I learned. I'll even go over some of the boats I considered, costs, gear, inspiration. I'll go through all of this page for you next week. So I hope you can join me. It'll be in a week. So it'll be dropping Monday, November 27th. And Patreon members can view it early on Friday, November 23rd. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to like and subscribe for more locations, adventures, and idiocy. <laughs> Thank you again. Ciao.